Oh no, I, I, I don't think it's bulging at all. Hey guys, today on PC Guide we're going to be looking at some of the biggest tech disasters on the internet. Let's get into it. Why? <laughs> Who thinks that you can use lemonade to clean anything? Why wouldn't you just use lemon juice with this idea? I mean, the sugar's gonna of course make it sticky. This is what happens when you lock yourself in your basement your entire life and don't do anything in the real world. Guys. Guys. If it's your first time building a computer, please, please, either look at a video, read some instructions, or get someone to help you so you avoid situations like this. Don't just free ball going and building a PC. There's a reason people get paid to do it. Now this just isn't fair. I use a charger for like a week and that motherfucker stops working, but this person can bend the hell out of it and they still get some use out of it? How is that fair? You know, I mean, you work with what you got, right? I mean, I don't, I don't hate this one. I do wonder though, how much like noise you're gonna pick up from all those connectors and if you're gonna experience any latency. Oh, that's just disgusting. <laughs> I wonder if it, it looks like it's tape. Oh my gosh, I'm getting nauseous just looking at it. I need to go. You know, you'd think someone in the office would know how an ethernet cable works and would be willing to check that before you call someone in. Right? Right? No. I've done similar things to my case before, bending stuff to make things fit, but with a 3090. Is that a 3090 or a 3080? Whatever this card is, putting it in that rig is going to be useless. Like, this picture clearly had to be taken in as a joke, right? Like, no one's actually doing this. The hard drive isn't even plugged in. Someone just had to have slotted this card in as a joke, right? Also, again, with the trend of putting toys in your PC case. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Um, yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, it looks like this person's chipset just went pop. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I, what I don't know is what this is. Is that some sort of like, is it a bit minor, do you think? Uh, someone comment and tell me what this is because I honestly have no idea. This, I mean, you're at least going to be getting cooling out of it, right? I mean, I, I don't hate this. It just makes me uneasy. Now, which one of you monsters out there did this? Do you know what goes on your computer PC fan filter? You know what dust is, right? Like, that's all your dead skin cells and hair and stuff like that. You're still gonna drink something through it? Do you not own a kitchen sieve? I just don't get it. I don't get it. These aren't even, like, small chunks that he's worried about. You could put it through a pasta strainer and that would still be fine. So you're using... I would assume my best guess for what this is, is I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that this here is an electric water heater and that all this PEX was meant to feed into said electric water heater, but instead, this guy's using it to water cool his PC. Is that even safe with the pressures that you'd be experiencing from that line? I mean. Maybe it was just taken for the picture, like a haha -ha funny thing. Because these are two different colored pecs lines, clearly. Maybe you just put it here as a joke and then was going to install this. I, I struggle with this one. I struggle a lot. Also, see guys, I'm not the only one. Leave me alone. <laughs> How is that dart even staying in the wall? I mean, why not... At that point, you might as well have rigged it up to the fishing rod and just had that dangling from there. It looks like he attached it to a lanyard, then zip-tied it around everything. But why not just leave it on the floor? Like, what's the point of having this up off the ground? Or buy a small end table to put in the corner? Something? Anything? 
Martians got to this man's PC. Yeah? Now that looks like something you'd see in a high school. What it is, is it looks like it's a wireless relay. Just kind of dangling from the ceiling by, uh, by its cord there. Wonder who that's gonna fall on. Oh, boy. I mean, you could try to clean it up. Might still work. If you're really carefully cleaning it, might still work, especially if this isn't like arctic silver we're talking about. If it's not conductive, it might be okay. Oh, looks like someone was carrying their Apple product in their pocket again, guys. That aluminum chassis really is hitting different. Now, who brings this sort of thing into a tech shop? Into a computer shop and thinks, they can fix this. Okay. So what looks like happened here, guys, is there's a trick that you can do if your hard drive stops working, where if you shove it in the freezer, I do not condone doing this, this is a terrible idea, but if you shove it in the freezer, there's a chance that it'll start working again for just long enough for you to back up the contents of that hard drive. The issue is, is if any moisture gets inside of the hard drive, you're screwed. And guess what's in your freezer? Generally, decent amount of moisture is in there. Okay, so your computer engineer ripped the fan blades off, right? And then just stored it back here for safekeeping. I'd give that dude a tip. Now this is scary, because that's just, like, death. Immediately. Just fucking, you touch that, zap, you're done. Good night. Okay, CPU's done. Right? We knew that by looking at it. But it looks worse than it even could be. Because it looks like it's a hardened ceramic thermal paste, which means you're not getting it off of there. At least, with something else, you might be able to, like, get some alcohol, scrape it out. Doesn't look like that's the case with this. This just reminds me of when, like, your phone's about to die, you're on 5%, and you ask your buddy if you can borrow his charger. And he's like, nah, man. My phone's at 60. I need it. What an asshole. So there wasn't a single dude who worked in the Walmart tech department that could tell you this ain't normal? <laughs> so likely what happened is they shoved this computer in to ship it pre-built to the Walmart, and didn't do anything to support this graphics card, just ripped the PCIe slot right out. No one noticed, I guess. Don't know how. Alright guys, that's seriously all I can take of this. Go ahead and leave a comment on what you think was the most outrageous thing that we looked at today. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the content, subscribe if you want to see more of it, and also check out the Facebook Marketplace reviews. See you in the next one.